Okay, so we had a really cool interaction with a viewer yesterday. We are building fast, which means questions are, of course, bound to come up. We had a viewer on yesterday's stream who needed some help, and the discussion turned out to be something that I think would be really helpful for a lot of people out there. So I downloaded the stream and clipped this segment out. This is my brief discussion with Tommy about the new workflow and how to troubleshoot it if you're getting any bugs. Bug chat. All right, so got prompt. Uh, huh. uh, can you screenshot your workflow, Tommy? Failed to validate prompt for output to output will be ignored. Clip not equals VAE. Yeah, it looks like um, something's being passed the wrong way. Something's expecting a, a clip and it's getting a VAE. So <laughs> another problem, Tommy, is that... Um, as you're building these nodes, um, when you make an update, like for example, if I if I want to add a field onto this node, onto this model loader node here, if I add a field here at the top, all of the rest of the fields get pushed down, but their values don't get pushed down with them. So if you had an old workflow and you installed the new nodes and you opened up that workflow, it probably mixed up some of the values. So it, um, and the same thing with these, these outputs up here. If I add a new, if I add a new output somewhere in this list, the rest of them get bumped down, but the noodles don't, uh, they don't move, they don't move with the output. So you'll end up having what used to be your clip going to your clip. If I insert this model at the top, then it could shift the noodle up and it would be the now your model's going to the clip. So that looks like probably what's happening. <clears throat> but uh, screenshot your workflow and I will let you know. Can you follow along with what I'm doing if I if I show you how to do something in, in my workflow? Okay, cool. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up a new workflow, blank workflow and I'm going to start with a model loader and then I'm going to put a prompt and then a prompt output and then we need a latent chooser and then we need a sampler and then from there, we will go to a preview chooser, which is sadly not my node. I will make one of these soon. All right, so I think that's everything, right? Got our model loader. I guess I can just pop back over to here real quick. Model loader, prompt, prompt output. Then we got a latent chooser. Oh, the styler, right, yeah. Uh, my styler is gonna look a little different than yours because I've added a lot of things to it but we'll see what we can't figure out here <clears throat> so let's put the styler chunky all right still with me Tommy all right so the first thing we're gonna do is convert on our unified prompt we are going to convert the seed from a widget to an input. So if you right click on the node, convert widget to input right there, and you're gonna convert seed to input. And that's gonna change it from a field right here and now it's up here. So we can pass that seed in. We can pass our clip in just like that. So that's the first step. Make sure your seed field is empty down there. And then of course our positive prompt, we're gonna hook up to our prompt output. Let me know if you need me to go back. We're gonna put our VAE from the model loader all the way over to the VAE on this uh, latent chooser, right behind those guys to there, all right. And now this part is gonna look a little different for you okay so we have all of this stuff here and all of that stuff over there <laughs> all right yeah now we're gonna go on the styler and what we're gonna do is 
right click and convert our positive prompt to an input and then we're going to convert our negative prompt to an input uh, yeah right negative prompt uh, and then I think that's it here now you're not gonna have all of this control net stuff here but you you have these like Laura's down here so that's this is different but don't worry about that just make sure you convert your positive prompt and your negative prompt like that and then over on your sampler you're gonna go ahead and convert your positive prompt and your negative prompt as well uh, and then convert your seed right click convert seed and then also right click convert your model type all right so once you have all that converted should be ready to hook up the rest of this stuff so the way we're going to do it is on on yours right now you don't have this is what yours looks like you don't have the latent coming in and you don't have the latent coming back out uh, and that's because that's something that's needed for the control net so i took it out whenever I made this push. So, you know, I took all the control nut stuff out. So you don't have the latent, but you have all of these other inputs and all of these other outputs. So the latent for you, for me, I have the latent in and I have the latent out. So I would connect from here and then to here. But for you, you're gonna connect from the latent on your latent chooser all the way through to the sampler, all right? And then of course your VAE is gonna go in and your image is gonna go in. And then over here, your VAE, positive to positive, negative to negative, positive to positive, negative to negative. That's all that. Now we gotta get our model right here. Our model is gonna go over to there. We're gonna get that from our model loader way over here. I'm gonna pull that over to the styler. So now you have all of this stuff coming into the styler and everything going back out over to the uh, sampler. Then you need your clip right there and that comes from your, uh, your prompt node. And then you need your positive conditioning, negative conditioning, positive prompt, and negative prompt. So that ended up being a very constructive conversation and I wanted to share it with the crowd in case it helps any of you out. And there is a part two to that conversation as well where Tommy and I covered all of the latest nodes and exactly how to use each one. And I'll be posting that one tomorrow so be sure to check for that. As always, you guys know what to do to make YouTube happy. Be sure to give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and share the video with anyone you know who might find it useful. And come join us over on the live streams. It's turned out to be a lot of fun and very useful as you just saw with this previous interaction. Hope to see you guys over on the streams and in the Discord really soon. And until next time, take care.